Next up, I wanted to talk about using layers in Maya. You'll be used to layers from other programs such as Photoshop, Illustrator, Publisher, and of course, uh, even Adobe Premiere Pro, which we used last week. Uh, layers in, in uh, Maya work a little bit differently, but in the same kind of concept and principles, but they have their own sort of 3D specific features that we might find useful as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up my uh, channel editor, which is of course this little sort of stack of square pancakes up here in the, uh, the uh, let's say the top right. I see I've got my directions right there, of course. And you can see down here I have a little box, which is, I'm just going to pull that up just so we can see it a little bit better. But we have a box down here, which, as you can see, is, is currently called Layer 1. And inside that we can see there are three little option boxes, V, P, and R, which we'll come back to in a moment. The important thing about this is that we talk about how we add or remove objects to a layer. So... In this case, the layer already exists, so we don't have to make one there, but it's important that we talk about um, how we add or remove those objects. So, for instance, if I click V, which is for visibility, I can disable whatever is on that layer on a visual level, okay? So nothing's being deleted, nothing's being removed, it's just being hidden because that layer is hidden. But we can see that there are some objects that are not on that layer, and that's really, really important to us. So let's go and try and uh, select some objects and add that to the layer instead. So I'm going to hide this in the meantime because it makes selecting easier. But I want to add uh, these these uh, these area lights here, which show up as red currently. So I'm going to grab this light, then I'm going to shift select these lights, and then I'm finally going to shift select this little ambient light sitting right here. Um, and what I'm going to do now is go over to my layer one going to right click and of course I'm going to click the add selected objects. Now they will vanish because they've now been added to a layer that's hidden. If I re-enable that we can see that those lights are still safely there and they have been selected. So it's a nice way to think about how you, you might dress your scene up a little bit. For instance you might have a geometry layer, you might have a lights layer and you might have a motions path layer so that you can work between these layers individually. But it's also important that we learn how to remove objects. Now, this brings us to another piece. Currently, I have this layer uh, set a certain way, right? So if we look at the end of the layer stack here, we have a little letter that says R, um, which means it is now a reference layer. And that reference layer is really important because it's, it's a useful way of working in Maya without accidentally clicking on a bunch of things that are already uh, there. So it makes my life editing a little bit easier. But currently, there's so many things on that layer. So if I disable that, we can see that most of the scene is actually is, is in that layer. And I've disabled my ability to click any of that, which I think is really useful, but it might annoy me later on. So I want to be able to disable what is called this reference layer. So R stands for reference. So if I disable that by clicking it, I can now successfully click on any of the items that were on that layer. And I might want to lock that again. So in this occasion, we might go, actually, I would like my lights to be on a separate layer or my geometry. So I might go in, for instance, at this stage, and I'm going in quite close here. I'm just going to shift select my lights. Oops. So I have to remember there's a hidden wall there. So I'm just going in and anything that is a light object, I'm going to select it because I want to stick that on a separate layer for my lighting. I'm going to select, oh, whoops, that, and of course we've got another light here. So there's all my lights, and what I might do is right-click and remove selected objects. So you'll notice that doesn't delete them, but if I disable that layer, they've now been removed from there, so you can actually see them uh, independently of that. And what I might do is click this option, which is create a new layer and assign the selected objects. So now we've got layer two. And of course, what we might want to start doing is renaming things in a more appropriate manner. So layer one, I'm going to double click it and call this, oh, <laughs> I clicked too many things there. Uh, I just give that back its color and call that, um, Excuse me while I enable that. There we go. So uh, 
my keyboard that I'm using uh, likes to screw me over sometimes, but there we go. So anyway, just going to double click that to rename it again. So that is uh, geometry, which I can't spell. And I find giving an appropriate color. Green usually works for geometry for me. I might check something more uh, uh, safe. I can click save. So now my geometry layer will largely hide just geometry. And of course, my light layer, I can rename that to something more appropriate as well. Obviously, lights is probably a better term. Um, lights probably deserve some sort of nice uh, yellow color. And I can click uh, save. Now, this is important because now we can, uh, we can start to hide certain sections of this individually which is really useful. So when we switch lights off, it really will take the lights with it. And that's an important thing to remember. So it's a good way of switching all lights off at once uh, and re-enabling them. Okay, so that's easy enough. And of course we can reorder these layers as we see fit. Unlike Photoshop, the, the layer of these doesn't put them, it, doesn't, it won't stack things on top of each other the way we normally are used to in Photoshop. But it's useful to know that we can uh, strategize our scenes uh, by dividing them up into layers. We can add certain objects to those layers and we can remove objects from those layers. When we try to protect layers, so of course using them as references, for instance, um, I want to stop my ability to click on all this geometry. I want to re-enable this third box here, but the first click will go to T, which is for trace layer, and the second click will go to R for reference layer. Now, if I click away, I can no longer click on any of those uh, items. But I can still click on my lights because that is not referenced. So I might be able to, again, one click for trace, second click for reference. And now I cannot click those lights either. So I can safely edit the remainder of the scene, which is cameras and, of course, this motion path. And we have a little figure in here as well, which I might keep away from layers in the meantime. Okay, that'll do for now. Thanks for listening.